Hi, thank you for coming in today. Um, this is this your first time with Barefoot Shoes? Oh, it is, okay. Well, for me, I am glad you're coming in today. Um, I'm not sure if you're here alone. I need a bit of help with that. Oh, you're just really brand new to this whole barefoot experience. Okay. Well, I can kind of, um, see, yeah, no, I'm not like, when I, uh, first became interested in barefoot shoes, it was probably, oh, five or six years ago, and, uh, I was just really interested in experiencing lots of different textures and different, um, cuts, you know, you have, you have these five senses, and there's things that inspire you really easily with your sight, you know, looking at a beautiful sky, sky and sunset, things like that. Um, and, you know, beautiful snow and roses, and, um, what else is there? Um, smell of chocolate chip cookies, and, you know, different things like that. Um, yeah, but I just found, like, okay, you know, like, obviously when you get a get a hug from a friend or something like that, you get you do get experience, you know, it's a nice thing with your spiritual um you know with your ability to feel. But um but yeah I just found like I just didn't feel like I was experiencing texture textures you know, as much as I wanted to. And when I heard that, you know, some people did barefoot running, I thought, oh, you know, you could could go barefoot, couldn't you? It's just something I've never really even thought about. So I started going barefoot a lot. Um, and had, you know, I learned a lot about different textures. Like, okay, you have really rough concrete, which is not so fun to walk on. And then you have, like, fresh, cool grass, which is amazing to walk on. It's just so soothing to the feet. Um, and yeah, and obviously everything in between. Um, but yeah, but I felt like I didn't feel like I could really go around barefoot all the time, um, just because it takes a lot more effort um, to keep your eyes down, make sure you're totally underneath glass, um, you know, no burrs or anything like that. You get a lot of stuff in your foot, and you're just kind of like, okay, yeah, this might be a bit too much to be doing all the time. And so I wanted, um, an alternative, and that's when I, you know, found out about barefoot shoes. Um, and yeah, I just, uh, got my passion <laughs> into that, and, uh, yeah, so I ended up, uh, being able to work with them as well. Um, and there are lots of benefits, um, for um, a barefoot shoe as opposed to a normal shoe. And I'll show you just one of our... Um, main pages to show you. The first thing um, that I always notice is the heel. So on most typical shoes, you're going to have um, a heel profile that is higher. Um, so usually you're going to have a bit of a heel even on regular running shoes than you would on um, just feet. On this shoe, it has a very flat profile. Um, you'll notice it when you first stand on them because you hear it kind of like, like, your, like your foot's going backwards. Um, but that's actually very beneficial for your posture um, because that heel that normal shoes have, it actually, um, your feet obviously are your base, and they call it like. They are what um, determine everything that's going on up the line. And so you will get your spine a bit more out of alignment. You will get uh, get a bit more pelvic tilt to adjust for the, um, yeah, for the heel there. Um, so, yeah, so that's the first thing that they are really beneficial. Um, the other thing is that they're, if you look through here, there's... Pretty much no support there. Um, so that being said, that's actually a good thing because it helps your foot be strengthened. Instead of walking on some, you know, substance that's not really 
there you're actually going to be strengthening your own foot um, you're going to get more muscle to see here through your own arch through your toes as well um, and yeah and that's just going to help strengthen your foot um, that being said when you do purchase your first pair um, you can leave, you need to give them a bit of time to break in because Yeah, so yeah, they usually we usually recommend um, when you first get a pair, wear them about an hour at a time to start with, and then after a couple weeks, you can start increasing that a bit. Um, but yeah, because you're going to need to give your foot time to build up the muscles, otherwise you can cause yourself a bit of an injury. But as long as you follow that, you should be fine. You just build up very gradually. Um, I really come to enjoy wearing these. Oh, yeah, so that's the benefit of all barefoot shoes. So not all barefoot shoes have these uh, toe pockets, but they do all have a flat profile and usually have a pretty thin sole um, with no support. So that basically you are strengthening your foot. Um, this in particular, this is a Vibram's Five Finger uh, Classic, and it is which. Uh, this is the first uh, five finger shoe that Vibram made. Um, now, the benefit of a five finger shoe is that each of your toes are forced into their place. So, if you look here, because a typical shoe would kind of come up like this. Um, but, I can't get to it. A typical shoe would come up like this, and so it'll kind of scrunch your feet all together, especially if your shoe starts getting it scrunched in. This will force your feet to be stretched out, um, and each little toe will have its own pocket, um, and sit more in place as it would when you're not wearing any shoe, which is definitely part of the point of view. So, um, and each of these toe pockets can move individually. So you can be able to stretch your toe. Probably not quite back that far, but um but yeah definitely gonna have movement. And that is going to help with your balance. That is a really good thing to balance. Um because you're gonna get you know a typical shoe you have a very flat profile and so um and your balance will be kind of go like this, 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 but it's all going to stay flat. This, you're going to give yourself many, many points of contact. First, you have your five toes, and then you have the ball of your foot, you have the heel of your foot, and then also you have the uh, side of your foot as well. Um, so that's going to make you feel very secure, very balanced, um, because you can use all the muscles in your foot to help you stay balanced. Um, yeah, so that's a real benefit of having a five toe shoe. Um, so the Vibram Five Fingers, they also come with, so you see this yellow sole here. Um, that's called the AG, Aegis Microbe Shield. Um, and it's just there because Obviously, you're not going to be wearing these with uh, socks most of the time because you're going to be um, wanting to wear them with your shoes. You can get um, very thin toe socks if you do prefer to wear them with socks. Um, but yeah, most people end up wearing them barefoot and that's just to help cut down on odors, make sure there's not going to be any um, growths or anything like that. So yeah, that's already been taken care of for that. Um, but there are ways to Kind of enhance that as well, which we'll get into a bit later. Um, yeah, so that's all the basics of that. Um, each of the, these sole, um, this is a Vibram sole, and it's very thin, so you're gonna get um, you're gonna get that. This is the best sole that you can get for feeling the ground while still wearing a shoe. Um, and yeah, I've tried a lot, and this one. This one is the best, it's the thinnest, you're going to get the best feel, um, but at the same time you're going to get protection when the ground's really hot and it's really cold. 
um, fall from glass or anything like that, you're not going to be able to, um, they will feel they're there, but they're not going to cause you any pain. And so that's obviously a really big benefit of having a barefoot shoe um, over just going barefoot. So, um, and all Vibram shoes are, they use premium materials. So you're going to get the highest quality and they use uh, meticulous manufacturing. So every shoe is going to, um, every shoe is going to be exactly as it should be. They have a very um, robust quality control um, department. And so yeah, you're going to definitely um, benefit from that. Okay, so. So, um, the specific features of the Classic are, um, first of all, this very wide opening to allow your foot to come in. Um, so they're very easy to get on, very easy to get off, because they have this very wide opening. Um, they do have an elastic drawstring, which goes all the way through here and connects up at the back. Um, to keep it nice and secure. So if you look at this tag here, you can click this down. And click it down. I can't get it to go. Uh oh, this isn't pushing the wrong direction. Okay. Yeah, so you can click it up and then you can adjust it, um, let it go. And then anything like that. And then you can uh, click it off so that it won't, um, so it'll stay secure. So that's just a nice way to get a comfortable fit. Um, and you will find that this uh, doesn't tend to be much of a nuisance there. You may occasionally slap back at the neck and hit you on the ankle or something like that, um, but that's pretty occasional. And so it usually ends up being uh, pretty nice. Uh, and there's also this little flap here, which you can pull back. Um, for assistance in getting your ankle securely in your foot because they are going to be a very, um, it'll be a snug fit. It's not going to be tight. So you don't want to cut off the circulation to your toes, but it is going to be a snug fit. Um, so, and of course these on the bottom, they do have a slip resistant surface. Um, as we discussed, it does give you the multiple points. Um, for balance, um, so you are going to get more uh, points. You have, you know, all the toes, obviously those, and that helps you. But then there's also this uh, stipple bottom, and then also these uh, grooves in here to help you get a more secure footing uh, on the ground. Um, so it's not a lot of tread. Obviously, it doesn't want to interfere with your ability to feel the ground, but it is there to. Make sure you're not going to be slipping over, um, and yeah, you'll find you don't really slip over much with these. Um, now these do come in a variety of colors. Um, obviously they come in this black and black, um, and this black and black color I feel is a color very suited for um, going into the office, that sort of thing. If you work, with, if you work in a more casual environment, uh, then you will find, um, if it's not a super formal environment, uh, you usually find that these will blend in fine. Obviously, you might get a few questions the first time you wear them. Everybody's always interested to find out what those five toes are all about. Um, but yeah, no, I've, I've found uh, most workplaces can be uh, will be very um, open to these, especially with the black pair because it's very, uh, you know, very neutral and. Um, Especially this pair, it shows a little bit of skin, and if you wear it with pants, it looks very nice. Um, looks a lot like a regular slip-on shoe. This obviously has the toes at the end, um, and so, yeah, it looks a bit nicer than a regular sneaker or anything like that. Um, and so, yeah, you'll usually find that that will um, be okay, as long as you're not in a very formal environment. Um, yeah, so, but obviously if you have other... Um, other outfits that you'd be wanting to wear. There are other colors. 
So we do have a brown, um, it has a brown top, this fabric is brown, and then it would have a walnut colored um, sole. That would go nice, um, more with like a pair of khakis or a peach, peach, you know, type colors and that sort of thing. Um, just the more uh, tan and brown neutrals rather than the black. Um, you can also get a pair that has a silver, a silver bottom. It's a bit of a gray, but just has that kind of silvery. It's not uh, shiny, but um, it's not super dull either. And then that one has a Stormy Seas Blue top. Um, and that one's really nice uh, just for uh, a bit of different color there as well. Um, then, oh, and then a really cute color combination is uh, they do have a lilac pair. So it has lilac on the top, lilac on the bottom, and then just some white detailing. So it's really just a lilac and white combination and they're very cute. And if you do have something to match, um, those would definitely be very cute. Um, so that's, that's just a few of the colors, the regular colors for the classics. And as you shop around, um, you'll see more um, more variety in colors for males, females as well. Um, so yeah, so that's definitely um, definitely a good way to go. Um, those aren't, however, the only types of colors that we have. We do also right now have a special edition version of the classics. So, um, these will be out for a limited time. Um, I think we've just gotten one shipment in and we're not going to get another, so any stock you see, that'll be um, the only that we have. So if you see something you definitely that you like, you definitely want to pick that one up today because without going further, I'm done. So for these ones, they do have a white sole. And then on the top, they have, um, there's five different varieties of the different flags. And I'll show you this one. This is actually the Italy version. Um, but you can also get the Great Britain version, which would have been me and Jack. Um, the uh, Australian version, which has the Union Jack and um, the Southern Cross. Um, the Swedish flag, which has the white cross and the red squares. The Italian flag, which has the, the tricolor. Um, was a big fan of like France. Um, and then the American flag with the stars and the stripes. So um, yeah, so you can definitely look around. You can see if there's any of those particular ones that are still available. Um, I do know um, the American flag ones are sold out. Uh, quite a few patriotic people have uh, come in and bought all those. Um, there are still quite a few British flag ones, and that those are one of my favorite ones, um, along with the Italy ones, which is why I'm showing you those. But um, yeah, if you can grab a pair of the Britain ones, I definitely uh, think they look very nice. And yeah, if you look around the store a bit later, you'll see that. So let me open this, and I'll show you. This is what they look like fresh out of the box. And as you see, um, yeah, they're just, just a bit fun. So you have the green on this side, the red on this side, two red toes, two white toes, and one green toe. They of course have the same uh, drawstring, um, but the tab is white instead of black on this one. Um, you do have the tags showing that it does have the Aegis um, microbe shield, which is of course that uh, yellow shield in this shoe, um, which is sewn in, uh, obviously, so it's there securely and it's always there. Um, it does also show you the features of the shoe. It talks about the drawstring um, and a few other of the, of the uh, features we've discussed. Um, such as, you know, the, uh, 
bottom, which was developed for rock climbing. I don't remember if I told you that or not. But yeah, the actual sole uh, was developed for rock climbing, and then obviously once they put, they used that one for the uh, five toe shoes. Once they realized they didn't want to have that, so yeah, so um, yeah, so this is the Italy one. Obviously, um, if you ever see someone walking around, the um, American one just looked like this, but it has the American flag, and then the Union Jack one, um, yeah, it has the British flag kind of going across the US flag, and um, it has little details on the toes as well. So it's very, um, yeah, it's very nice. Um, they do come with a bit of um, paper inside. Just so you can see the inside of it and what they're doing. Um, so they look fairly nice, brand new, and of course they all come up. Thank you, baby corn, to that uh, room. Very nice. And so, yeah, as I said, we are out of the American ones um, in all sizes, but I do think we have um, we have at least in some sizes some of the rest. Uh, these are the Italy ones. This is a size 40. You can actually see, um, you can check that right on the big toe. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but, yeah, there's a little, um, well, it's not an indentation. It's a pop out. I don't remember that word. But anyway, it does just pop out right there. Um, and along with, obviously, it does have the um, official logo on the back. Just because you do want to make sure you are getting the genuine uh, article, because if you're going to get one, you want to make sure it's going to have all the necessary qualities. Um, obviously, again, we do have the same um, sole here, the same contours, um, and the same sickly on the, uh, on the base there. And you do get a little bit, I didn't mention that before, but you do get a little bit of a... Um, just a little added, um, a little bit added sole right there at the toes. Um, that's partially what helps you stay a bit more secure on those, because each toe um, does have its own uh, pocket and own little point that's designed for it to be able to, um, yeah, for it to be able to. Uh, that balance, as I was saying before. So, yeah, so that's that shoe. Special edition, as I said, um, they're very cute, and yeah, obviously this will look nice. Um, also for, with Christmas coming up, it would look very nice with a little Christmas outfit as well. I'm thinking about uh, wearing some for our Christmas party here. Obviously, it would be very appropriate for the uh, Barefoot Shoe Store Christmas party. Um, so, so that's those. Um, let me just pop it. Oh, no, I'll put this back in. I'll put it back in its box. Okay. And the next pair will be the last pair I'll show you. Sorry, I'll just show you before we even do the video. Let's see if I show you that one. Um, okay, it says it's a 48 because it's easy to see for the width, but you know, it's a big one. And then as you see, everything is branded. It does have the headphone that says the Five Fingers. It does have a registered trademark. Um, because yeah, this is the world, the original one is the only interpretation. Um, I wish I came up with, with it um, with both of them um, for sale and people wanted shoes that they could, um, yeah, could buy some of And um, yeah, this one is made for classic and it comes with lots, with lots and lots of different models to get on your own. Um, but this is kind of the other basic model that is pretty popular. So we pull this out. So this, 
is the Class E. Now, um, with the Classic, you know, we find um, they're very easy to get into, um, but they do not help you um, if you're doing water sports. They don't necessarily um, have the most secure feel on your foot. Um, for running around, they can be good into walking, things like that. Um, but in gym, they, because they have that opening in there, you get um, like the pebbles, and you can definitely, as you're walking through tall grass, you can feel the grass against your foot. And if that's not something you would want, then in the case, that would maybe be more what you're looking for. Obviously, it has a, the same sole. It is a tad bit thicker. So the classic is going to give you the best feel as well. Um, just a little more, tiny bit thicker. Um, but everything else is being cooked. So you have to skip the um, site. Seeing a bit more of the ankle sock, it's looking just to the back of the sport, the ankle sock board. Um, and they are a little bit harder to get on because they do have just this small opening. Um, but you can definitely, but they definitely, um, And get away from your foot, but obviously just not quite as easy as the classic. Um, the other benefit of these is so you have the top here, and that is made out of mesh. Um, and obviously, because your foot's going to be more enclosed, it's just to give you a bit more breathability so your foot's not going to overheat in the shoe. Um, the other little benefit here is this strap is so once you obviously you need a bit of room to get your foot in but once you have your foot in you can pull this out and it's going to pull this strap to the back and to the ankle as well so and this is a convenient tab to once you've gotten your part part of your foot in to pull this part back so that you can walk on your ankle as well um, so I said, yeah, they're better for kayaking, um, that's why I think these, if you do tip over or anything like that, these shoes definitely are not going to go anywhere. They're going to stay right on your foot and you can reuse them if you have them or your work bag out or anything like that. Um, and I know that um, a lot of males do prefer this uh, just by the look of it, just having that open foot, it has a little bit more of a feminine look. Um, but obviously lots of men still wear the, the classics as well, um, just because they have, they're a bit more like a, not a fire up, like a flip-flop design. Um, it's very easy to get into, get out of, without a problem. Whereas these are more like a shoe. Um, so the colors, they come in obviously black with a black top. They also have, um, a dark gray sole with a light gray top with green um, gloves, <laughs> uh, green and embellishments, not embellishments, anyway. Um, and then you can also get ones that have a um, blue and gray chamois sole, and those are pretty fun. And, um, and then they have blue and gray in the top, not in the camo. Um, and then you can also get a black back but it has orange uh, detailing and that one um, that one's pretty fun so definitely recommend the black and orange um, obviously it's not going to be quite as good for running quite as often but it is still a little fun so we'll see how that one turns out um, yeah they do come in male and female the sizes are not um, not quite the same for the female. It is a bit more slender. Um, this one is detailing. They have 
and just kind of pull this way real quick. And then the middle is a little bit wider. So for the length, it's going to be a little bit wider for the nose, a little bit more slender for the chin as well. Um, so let's look. So have you been able to size yourself? Okay. So I don't know what size you are, but you do, but you have measured your chin. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, so you said it's um, okay, nine and five eighths. Okay, so let's look at the size of chin here. Okay, so here it is. So two and a half for the classic, the torso, both. Okay, so for the classic, um, you would be a forty, and then for the torso, it's probably a thirty-nine. Um, so the KSO size is D, I know a little bit smaller, um, so um, yeah, if you do ever need to size somebody, just make sure you do check the sizing charts, um, even if you buy the first pair, people do that all the time, they buy the same size, but if it's a different style, it is a, the sizing is a little bit different, so always consult uh, the sizing charts, make sure that you're getting um, the correct size in there, because you definitely want to have a shoe that's going to fit you perfectly. Um, Okay. Okay, and then the last thing that I wanted to discuss with you um, is yeah, it's one of my favorite parts of, and it's kind of what sets us apart. So um, with each pair that you do get, you will get a bottle of tea tree oil. Um, this is just normal uh, tea tree oil from the Nova Leafa tree. Um, it's natural and it is safe for um, external use and, uh, but you have to make sure it's not for internal use um, so yeah so you get a bottle of this and you also get a, um, a little spray bottle so you have um, it's kind of like a little mister um, and so you can put the tea tree oil in there and then it's just it's really small, so it's a really thing that you need to have around. Um, you can keep it in your little bag or anything like that. Um, and yeah, so it's very convenient. And yeah, so you can use that basically when you're about to put your shoes on, you just spray them first. It'll just help cut down on uh, any excess odors. So yeah, so that's the first thing we do just to kind of help out with that because we do know um, some people do have issues. Um, and so that it definitely does help cut down on that. Um, and the second thing that I wanted to discuss is, um, so the other thing that you get for free when you purchase a pair of um, barefoot shoes through us is a um, special deep cleaning service. And, uh, yes, that's what you uh, expect, I guess. So um, I'll show you on the classic kind of how that works. So we get, um, all that will be used on your shoe is just, um, just regular laundry detergent and water. Um, so they're very well protected. There's not going to be lots of, um, chemicals or anything like that. It is very, uh, gentle, but it is very thorough because it is done completely by hand. So there's no machines involved, and every shoe is done individually. So what we'll do is we first take the detergent and we rub it in to the top here. Come through, make sure we're getting every part of the shoe. And we'll go into the bottom, make sure we get every crevice. And we really focus on this point in between the toes. We want to make sure that all is very clean. We will uh, specifically pay attention to the logo. We do want to make sure that it gets nice and clean for the logo. And then um, perhaps the best thing is the um, on the inside. We rub on the inside very gently, but also firm in case. It's gonna, there might be slight discolorations if you notice after a few, um, after repeated wears. And so um, you can definitely 
With this uh, special deep clean surface, you are going to notice a difference because they're going to look brand new again. It's so glorious. Um, yeah, so we do have a special light. You can see in here. I can't quite get the angle for it. But yeah, we do have a special light that lets us actually see into the toe pockets so that we make sure, obviously, that we're getting everything up to the tippy toes perfectly clean. Um, so yeah, so we are that, which that's all good. Um, and then it is uh, rinsed in cool water. And after the rinsing, it goes to its first um, quality check. So a second person, then the person who's doing the washing will come and will inspect it to make sure that they and they have um, 150 points of the shoe that they do make sure to check and wipe off. Um, so it's definitely very thorough to make sure that everything is going to come back perfect for you. And if they do find anything that's wrong, then obviously um, it will be redone. Get the parts that need to be redone because everything is now going back like now. So, um, so yeah, so that's the first part. And then obviously at that point, it's going to be a very wet shoe because it's just been rinsed. Um, and so we do have moist, uh, not moist, sorry, they will be freshly cleaned towelettes. Uh, they're about that size. They're very small. Um, and you use those, you do the, a gentle pressing gentle press along the top of the shoe through these materials and then um, kind of roll them up and push into each of the toe pockets and we'll make sure we get as much excess water out as we can um, and then yeah so because the five fingers they can be washed in the machine um, you can wash them regularly in the machine but this service will bring them back good as new. Um, so after they've been, oh, but when you do wash them in the machine, also make sure that you don't, um, they can't be dried in the dryer. They do need to be air dried um, and they need to be kept out in the sun while they're drying as well. Um, and they shouldn't be kept in the sun either. So um, yeah, so once it's been towel dried, we've removed as much excess water as we can. Um, then we do put them on our special drying racks. Um, kind of go face down like that. Although you probably don't do it with drying from the toe because it's easiest to remove the excess water from here. So yeah, so they do sit like that. Um, and they will uh, air dry. And then, um, yep, and then once they are dry, we have to leave them for about 12 hours. Um, <clears throat> and there's no excess heat applied in the drying room because obviously you don't want your shoes um, to have any shrinkage or any heat damage at all. So we are very, very careful. And then after that's been done, then there's a third quality check and to make sure that everything is in tip top order. And then, um, yeah, then we will be able to put the shoe back. So I usually say, um, if you're using, wearing them pretty regularly, um, I'd say to bring it in for the cleaning, then six months or a year or so, and you, you may not think it's ready, that it doesn't quite hang on yet, but as soon as you bring it in, you'll notice a difference straight away, because they just look so good once you've gotten through the special cleaning. Oh, I love it. Um, and that's one of my favorite benefits of working. Um, but yes, as I said, each shoe is handled individually. It's not even one of pair of shoes. Each shoe will be handled individually. Each is uh, quality checked two times. Um, and obviously the person who's originally doing the washing is checking for quality as well. So there are three people who will be looking at each shoe that is brought in. Um, the other thing that I will mention is Obviously, if you did buy more than one pair of shoes, each one comes with one free cleaning, um, and they do both come with a bottle of tea tree oil. If you did prefer to um, not get a second bottle of tea tree oil and a second sprayer, you can get um, a discount card for 
um, the third cleaning. And it's usually about 10% off, um, just because the special cleaning is, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say it's worth a, a bit more than just a bottle of tea tree oil. Uh, but yeah, so that's the service there. Um, if you look around the store, you'll see a variety of colors, variety of styles. Um, as I said, just make sure to check the sizing chart. If you do decide to go with a pair, you just want to make sure that you're getting uh, the pair that will fit you the best. If you have any questions, I'll be right here. Um, and yeah, just bring up your order when you're ready to check out, okay? Oh, yeah, no worries. Now, I love talking about these shoes. That's why I love you guys, because I love them. So yeah, it's been no worries at all. I love telling my story. I'm getting really glad to be able to talk to you today, okay? <laughs> okay, I will talk to you when we come back up, okay?